to secret CIA experiments with its aim to read into your mind to a mystery surrounding the disappearance of a whole shipping crew. Here are five darkest paranormal mysteries. Oh, and the last case is so fascinating that it totally blow your mind. Let's begin. Number one. On September 19th, 1976, the local airport in Tehran began to get phone calls from scared residents who were phoning up in fear after they said they spotted mysterious lights in the sky. It didn't take long for the Air Force to be contacted and soon after they sent an F-4 Phantom to check out what was going on. At the airbase nothing was coming up on their radar. The pilot of the F-4 was Lieutenant Yadi Naziri and he had a backseat weapons officer with him as well. As soon as the F-4 reached Tehran, the instruments and communications on the plane malfunctioned, so the plane had to come back to base. Once the plane headed back to the base, the instruments on the plane had returned to normal. Ten minutes later, another F-4 was sent out to check out what was going on. This time though, the pilot on the plane saw an object that was alternating to different colours. As the pilot pursued the object, he said he saw something come out of the object and believed whatever it was was coming towards him. In panic, the pilot quickly went to engage the object with guided missiles when he noticed that his plane was now malfunctioning and was unable to engage with the bizarre object. A commercial airliner in the vicinity also reported communication failures. The pilot of the F-4 said he saw multiple bright objects and one of them he said looked like it hit the ground. As the Air Force checked out the area of where the crash could have taken place, they couldn't find nothing, though they did pick up beeping from a radio transmitter. Investigators did do tests including radiation tests around the area, but the results were never made public. A resident said they heard a loud noise and a bright flash of light. The Iranian government contacted the Americans who denied any part in this. Both countries investigated the incident together. Some have suggested that the pilots could have saw Jupiter, but then some would say the explanation doesn't explain why three different planes in the area all suffered malfunction. One plane may be a coincidence, but three planes? Some also found it unlikely that what the pilots saw was Jupiter, because they believe it's unlikely that experienced Air Force pilots would confuse a planet to an object that they believed was moving in different directions. Number 2 It has become quite public over the internet that the US government spent decades researching extrasensory perception and psychokinesis. One of these experiments was MKUltra. MKUltra was a code name given to a program where the CIA used humans where they would torture the individual in hope to mind control. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the CIA could have been successful and have covered up a lot of illegal activities such as assassinations and other attacks by using mind control. Anyway, we have made a complete video detailing MKUltra. We'll put that in the description if you want to check it out, as on this video we're going to be talking about something else. In the 1970s, the government had a program named Remote Viewing Program. This program was owned by the Defense Department. The aim of this program was to research if paranormal phenomena existed. The department's aim was to find out if it was possible if someone could visualize detail of distant people and objects through telekinesis. This operation was used at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. This is when they contacted Rosemary Smith, who believed she had psychic powers. In 1976, a Soviet bomber had gone down in the jungles of Africa, and the CIA and military intelligence had used every information they could collect from satellite technology to human intelligence, and they had absolutely nothing. This is when Mrs. Smith was asked if she was able to find out where this plane crashed, well, Mrs. Smith shockingly was able to pinpoint the location on the map she was given with excellent accuracy. When the CIA had gone to the location, they were shocked to find parts of the plane. Mrs. Smith was able to give the CIA intelligence that no one else could. Number 3 On 15th of April 2007, the Cas 2 departed from Air Lee Beach and was heading to Townsville. On board the Cas 2 was the owner, Derek Batten. He also took his neighbours Peter and James Tunstead. On 18th of April, a helicopter spotted the 9.8 metre sailing catamaran just drifting in the sea almost 100 miles away off the Queensland coast of Australia, in the area of the Great Barrier Reef. After observing the ship and believing that its crew could potentially be in distress, the helicopter reported the ship. On 20th of April, 
maritime authorities found it very strange when they boarded the ship. The ship was in serviceable condition. They found food and flatware set out on the table, a laptop computer was set up and turned on, and the engine was still running. It was also confirmed that the boat's emergency system, including its radio and GPS were fully functional, and that it still had its full complement of life jackets. Everything seemed okay, apart from the ship had no crew. All three men were now missing. It was puzzling the investigators of what caused the men to go missing. There was no evidence of foul play. The life jackets were not used. The ship was clean, so there was no sign of a fight. It's like they just vanished. Investigators then found a video recording of the crew that they filmed during their trip. The video showed that James was recording the crew shortly before the men must have disappeared. It showed that experienced yachtsman Derek was still in the ship and that Peter was fishing. The seas were quite choppy but the men were in high spirits and all seemed calm. For the next few days, the authorities continued the coastline search, but after no luck, they eventually called off the search on 25th of April. A survival expert was consulted and he concluded that it was very unlikely that the men were still alive if they were in the water. The case has been dubbed as Australia's ghost ship mystery. What do you believe happened? If you know of any information on the case that you feel should be shared, then please share in the comment section. Number 4 The Castle of Good Hope is an imposing stone-built fort that was built by the Dutch East India Company in 1666. The coastline fort will replace the older fort that was built by clay and timber in 1652, but by 1664, tensions between Britain and the Netherlands rose so high that the Dutch upgraded the fort to stone. It is now the oldest and largest surviving building that's still in use today in South Africa. Now even though the castle was named the Castle of Good Hope, for some it would have been the Castle of Hell. Inside the castle was a dungeon that was used as a torture chamber. During the winter months and tide, the dungeon was filled with water where it drowned convicts, slaves and outlaws that were chained up to the wall. If you tried to escape the castle, you was executed in brutal fashion. It's been said that in 1729, seven soldiers were unfairly condemned to death for desertion. Just before the execution, one of those soldiers stood on the gallows and called Van Noot to justice. Van Noot was the man who ordered the execution and on that same day, Van Noot was found dead in his chair. He died of a heart attack. It's no shock that with his dark past that the castle is now said to be haunted. During the battle in 1915 and again in 1947, some soldiers reported to have seen a tall dark figure that would just walk around the castle and then disappear in front of their eyes. It's believed this entity could have been a guard that hung himself from the bell rope over a hundred years before. The castle has many thousands of visitors every year and some of the visitors have reported of what they believe to be paranormal activity. Some have heard disembodied voices of a man and woman arguing in the guards room. When you enter the room, there's no one there just yourself questioning your insanity. This would happen over and over again to so many visitors. One of the castle's most famous past residents was Anne Barnard, who lived in the castle in the 1700s. Her ghost has been seen numerous times, especially in the ballroom, dressed in a ball gown dated to be around 1700s. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever experienced anything strange? Please post in the comment section. Number 5 this next one, we just found it too interesting to not share it in this video. Now you've most likely heard of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the wonders of the ancient world and the dazzling feat of architectural genius. First let me tell you some history of the pyramid, because what I'll tell you afterwards will totally blow your mind. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the only one to remain largely intact. Historians believe that the pyramid was built as a tomb around the year 2600 BC. The pyramid was the tallest structure that the humans ever built for over 3000 years. It's amazing to think that this pyramid was built over 4000 years ago when its colossal height was 481.4 feet and the base of the pyramid measures at an average of 755 feet. It is huge. The pyramid is so huge that even today people are in awe in how millions of stones weighing up to 2 tons each were lifted at such an unbelievable height without the use of cranes and other construction equipment. 
some even believing that such a feat would have been impossible and that the pyramids must have been built by aliens. That's the only way some believe it could have been built. The pyramids are even said to align with the stars in Orion's belt. The architectural genius surrounding the pyramids is so great that even today scientists can't totally explain how the ancient Egyptians were able to build the pyramids. Well, the mystery just got deeper. It has now been discovered that the Great Pyramid has a hidden void that is at least 100 feet long. The hidden void's dimension is just like the pyramid's grand gallery that leads to the burial chamber of Khufu, the pharaoh of whom the pyramid was built for. Now, if that's not fascinating enough, it's still unclear what lies within the space, what purpose it served, or if it's one or multiple spaces. We've always been intrigued by things that we don't totally understand, probably why we do so many videos on unsolved mysteries and the paranormal. So when we found out about the void, we instantly wanted to make a video on it. <laughs>